ever heard of stories about people being hypnotized, converted to zombies, and then stolen from in broad daylight? What about a drug used by attackers to take full control over their victims' free will? Well, if you are new to this, worry not. We got you. Watch this interestingly strange video to learn about how the world's most dangerous drug, scopolamine, or the devil's breath, is being used to commit such bizarre crimes. According to Wikipedia, scopolamine, also known as hyacine, or devil's breath, is a natural or synthetically produced tropane alkaloid and anticholinergic drug that is formally used as a medication for treating motion sickness and postoperative nausea and vomiting. However, there is a dark side to scopolamine that you are about to learn today. Scopolamine is obtained from a plant called the angel's trumpet. The plant is also referred to as Brugmansia. It is a genus of seven species of flowering plants in the family Solanaceae. The name Angel's Trumpet comes as a result of the plant's large and fragrant flowers that look like an inverted trumpet or bell. But why the name Angel's Trumpet? Does it have anything to do with Lucifer maybe? I don't know. Scopolamine is regarded as the world's most dangerous drug after it has been used in urban areas to zombify victims and then steal from them. The substance is blamed for many crimes in Paris, and in many South American countries, like Colombia and Ecuador. There are countless stories about how the drug is used to take advantage of its victims. One of the most common tales is that victims can be handed a card with the drug laced into it. It takes only a few seconds for the drug to enter the skin, then the victim falls into a state of hypnosis. Once in this zombie state, a victim will do anything for the attacker and follow all instructions without questioning. The most insane part is that when a victim recovers from the drug, they will not remember anything that happened. All they can remember is what happened before they were ripped off. Scary, huh? Even onlookers will not notice anything is wrong because the victim will appear normal and will even converse with people as usual. The victim would hand over all the money to the attackers and any other valuables without knowing that they were being ripped off in broad daylight. It is hard to determine whether the story of scopolamine is a myth or genuine because there are no official estimates of the count of victims in cases. Many people, particularly in South America, have come forward to testify about their heinous experiences. Some claim that they were encouraged to inhale the drug and then, within a few seconds, they were forced to do horrifying things that they would have otherwise not have done prior to intoxication. It is believed that high doses of scopolamine can be fatal. If the attacker administers an overdose of scopolamine to their victims, it could result in death or brain damage, resulting in paralysis. There are a lot of myths surrounding scopolamine, but it is certain that the drug is dangerous. Its distribution and administration is highly regulated, such that it is traded under different names for medicinal usage. There are terrifying stories that scopolamine was sometimes used as an interrogation tool or truth serum by the Nazis in Germany. We are still trying to dig deeper to find out the truth behind scopolamine, as it has a rich and uncertain tale. What do you think about this scary drug? Do you think it could completely zombify you? Leave a comment below. If you enjoyed watching this video, like and subscribe to get notified of our future posts.